So, so it's me, your boy, because I'm saying, you know, I have done the part two about the question that one of our friends asked, you know, and another question he asked concerning competition and their goal. He further asked the question, he said, what, what exactly is the role of the church concerning these categories of people? You know, the truth is this. <laughs> This is a very, what a very good question. You know, if you read the mm, the life of what uh, Joseph, the life of Esther, you come to understand that. Even David, you come to understand that. No matter what you do, someone who hates you, no matter the type of prayer you pray, it can't change them. Yes, believe me. Because they have already been addicted to this. Just believe me. You know, I have a lot of friends whom I always advise, you know, who I always tell, you know, envy people will make you never to go far. I know that some of my friends whom I have already tell this word will watch me. I tell them, you know, envy someone, uh, jealousy of others, gossiping others, having that mindset to pull people down will never allow you to grow. But I figure out that the more I say it to them, the more I correct them, the more they do it, then I withdraw. Why? Because the truth is this. No matter how you explain to them, they will never believe. You know, there was a lady that I was with before, you know, when I was in my school. So I was telling her about what uh, we are communicating about all this boyfriend of issue of it in. I tell her that it is very, very politely, you know, to be right, to go, to be all those things, to be this. But I figure out that the reason why she was hanging out with me because she wanted me to be what? To be betraying her boyfriend. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Despite of every advice that I have given to her, she did not listen to none of them. She kept doing what she was doing. <laughs> you got me saying? So these categories of people, they, 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 the thing that church needs to do is that they can pray for them, but they will be the one that will determine whether to change or not. Yes, believe me. You can preach, you can come to my house and preach to me. You can tell me uh, sin is bad, sin is good, this is where sin will lead you to. But if you leave, I will be the one that will determine whether to accept or to do what you have said. That is why Christ, when he sent the disciples to do or to go and preach, he said to them, any house that does not receive you, drop your word, your fruit staff. It will be a judgment to them. So when you keep telling people about envy, jealous, no, okay, think about the way the world is going. Do you think that all these people are not hearing the word of God? Okay, the, the, the friends who betrayed this lady of 25 years old girl, Robinson, Robinson, whether Shaquiwala, something like that. Sorry for pronouncing the name, the name in the wrong way. Do you think that these friends they don't have church that they that they that they do attend? No, let's just be real. They have it, but their mindset, devil have already uh, brief watched them that their enviness cannot go, cannot live. These are the type of people who are choirs in the church. Who are what prayer warriors in the church? Who are so close to Papa Jew, Mama Jew in the church? Who are the the cleaners in the church? That's why the Bible says the judgment of the Lord will start from the house of God. Who is Judas Iscariot? Let's be real. One of the what the apostles of Christ, whom Christ have taken as a what as a disciples. What did he did? Despite of all the preaching that Christ had been preaching, despite of all every place, he was envying Christ because of what, what people are doing, are giving. To. Go and read the history where the envy starts. When the woman brings an olive oil and pour it on the leg of Christ, he said, why will you be spreading this? In? Why, can't you sell, why can't we sell it to buy something and use it for the, for the, for the means? He was envy. You know what I'm saying? So no matter how, they can be listening to you, but they will never change. That is why, why karma will, is what is real. So my brothers and sisters, the truth is this, brother, sisters, no matter how you preach to these categories of people, they will never change until they get hurt of karma. 
Just believe me, many of them will never change until karma visit them. That is why if you talk to them two to three times and they refuse to change, you just leave them. Karma will do it. We do the right forward work that they will learn from it. You know what I'm saying? So the need for and the work of the church towards these competitors, envy, jealous people, is that you can preach to them if you are ordered. You can preach to them, but they will be the one that will determine whether to accept the offer or to continue with their old ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is why the Bible make it come. The Bible make it clear. He said, "Accept." That is why Moses, Moses said, "As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord." Is it not Moses a bit um, Aaron? I can't. I can't recall what were, but I'm sure it's Moses. As for me and my household. We will do what we serve the Lord. That means you will be the one that will decide whom you will serve. He said, This that was Moses. I mean, to Sabi Aaron, the brother of Moses. He said, Decide now whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we will serve the living one, the living God. So many people have already decided to be envied to the rest of their life, no matter how you preach to them. I have a lot of friends like this. I have talked to them. I have told them the consequences of envying others. Because one is that whoever you are envy, you can never go above them. Yes, believe me. This is all I have explained to them. But they keep doing what they are doing. Because they will never change until karma hit them. You know what I'm saying? So remember, bless. thank you for that your question. I truly love it. God bless you. If it reasoning with you, drop your comment. You know what I'm saying? If it reasoning with you, just drop it. Drop your what your comment. May God bless you.